Good afternoon, dear viewers. We're at the Savalmash construction site where the construction of the future DNE is in full swing. Today, we have with us the supervisor of the construction site, Alexei Yurovich, and Artur Anatolovich, who is the deputy general director for development of Savalmash. And after the released video from the construction site, where we had demonstrated the concrete works, a lot of our commentators came up with a question. And I will ask Artur Natalovich to announce which question exactly it was. The question was as follows. Why is shaping the reinforcement cage carried out by welding? Usually the cage is shaped with the help of wire that is bound to make reinforcement. Is this really the case? Let's take a closer look. In fact, it is. All the works that we complete at the construction site, starting with the organization of the construction site, and currently we're engaged in reinforcing the foundation and the concrete works, all of the works are carried out in accordance with the approved and established project documentation and detailed design documentation. Control over all the works that are carried out at the construction site is carried out by the technical customer represented by Technopolis Moscow and the inspection of the state construction supervision. Specifically, we're talking about reinforcement cages. Our building codes say the following. These cages can be made by biting, using biting wire or by welding. But to apply the welding method, only type A500S reinforcement can be used. The letter S means that this reinforcement is intended for welding. There is a question. How can we make sure that this class of reinforcement is used? All the reinforcement units that have been delivered here to the construction site, each truck, each batch, has its own supplier certificate, containing all its chemical parameters, all its standard parameters. The chemical composition of class I-500S reinforcement has a component that prevents the appearance of microcracks in the welding joint and, therefore, all this is acceptable. It's normal. And yet, in our particular case, is it better to use the welding method or some alternative options? Absolutely no difference. All of these decisions are made by the design engineer. That is, in fact, currently all the works are carried out in strict compliance with the detailed design documentation. With the detailed design documentation issued for the execution of works, right? We still have an option that with temperature changes, taking the sub-zero temperatures, the welding joint may break. Is it true? Directly in the body, in the body of concrete. I can tell you that all of these processes for welding the cage are only needed to keep the cage in the permanent position until the concrete sets. After the concrete sets, no welding joints work anymore. I see. Then we will ask you to explain in more detail what is going on in the background now. The day before yesterday, we cast the first concrete, the base concrete. You probably saw it. Now we're warming up the poured concrete, waiting, checking the strength of the concrete daily, the temperature of the concrete, getting ready for building the next foundation floors. Could we at least partially get acquainted with the package of documentation that you go by to carry out all these works, control the materials and so on? Here you go. The documentation that is required in situ is located here. These are specific detailed engineering drawings with all the dimensions, all the facilities. Those albums that we have in the office, you can go and take a look. I suggest that we do this. You're welcome. We've moved to the office space. Am I right saying that in front of you there is a detailed design documentation that you're guided by in the workflow process? That's right. This album is called RC, or Structural Reinforced Concrete Design Below Zero. That is, this is exactly what we have just discussed. Approved for the execution of works, approved and finalized by the customer too. Here is the first sheet. This is a plan of the foundations for the entire building, with the location of the axes and so on. 
in the footnote to the main data. It is written loud and clear. The reinforcement of the foundations is carried out using welding space frames and flat welded mesh. I can see that. I can see that. This mesh is here. This is the mesh. We are now showing a separately standing foundation. This is it. It is made of grade B, 7.5 concrete mattress and B25 foundation body itself. At the bottom we have horizontal mesh and a vertically positioned cage made of mesh too. Here are the drawings of this mesh. This is vertical mesh. This is horizontal mesh. And what is indicated here? What is indicated in this mesh project? This is exactly the reinforcement we've been talking about. Reinforcing bars 16A500S. This is the certificate for this A500S reinforcement. It is called rolled, deformed reinforcement, weldable, complies with the GOST standard. Here is the GOST standard. Here is an excerpt from this GOST. An excerpt from this GOST, rolled product of class I500S, is guaranteed as weldable. I think there should be no more questions. Thank you. You have provided a comprehensive answer. I think every viewer got what they wanted. You're welcome. Thank you very much.